Uh, ooh, I might have a chance to get a tier 10 kill. We have to take and hold the marked objective. Get to it. I could try to solidify it. Put the premium load already in. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna keep it in pre Ready to fire. premium. Holy shit, do they have a full... They do, they have a full fucking... Tier 10 squad. Or platoon. I'm so fucking used to calling it a squad. Hey, thanks there, little buddy. Probably do better getting all the way up there. Make the turn. What a trudge up this hill. <laughs> Jeez. You know, in this situation, I'd really actually rather just capture the base if we can. We're capturing the enemy base. We lost a friendly vehicle. It's not very often you get a base capture. Well, at least for me, it's not very often I get a base capture. I'm get myself into like an okay angle here. Wow, they just went for... It looks like a lot of them went to just try and... get kills. Not really trying to take the base, although we have guys up here who aren't fucking getting on the base. Focus attention What's the point in being up here if you're not gonna fucking take it? Wow, am I gonna go the match without fucking letting around loose? They found us. There we go. And I missed. She's loaded. Nope. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take the base. Fuck him. Well, you're fucking kidding me. God damn it. How the fuck did their already hit me? There's my tier 10 kill. We are going to get ambushed from behind, probably. Just at a guess. Yeah, they all thought that too. They went on the other side. I don't see us getting anything else coming this way. They're going to come from the other side. We've reached the enemy base. Focus on this area. Huh. 
now it's at that point where maybe we should get off the base. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Stay on the base or uh, take them out? Well, I guess we're staying on the base. Maybe not. Come on. Get off the base. There we go. Let's see if I can get down here and help. Come at me, bro. Oh, I'm not going to get around here in time. Maybe? Nope. Good game, guys. Okay, so, uh, somehow, during that, it kicked me out of my party. So I don't, I don't know, does it still, when it kicks me out of the party, since I have it to set up to where party chat, or whatever, gets it, like, can you guys hear me right now? I mean, I gotta go back in and get into my party anyway. Okay, can you guys hear me now? It cut me out of my party. It does that every now and then. I don't exactly know why. But now I'm back in the party. Should be coming through. I don't know if you guys saw that I was talking. I, I, I don't know why it does that every now and then. But yeah, uh, Sour, I agree with you. I didn't want a cap, but if that was the thing we were going for, then I, I was going to go with it because I didn't know how everyone else was doing, but once I saw that there were, like, two guys left, it's like, yeah, I might as well fucking go for it. At least let the team get some damage. Get some points. Uh, yeah. Take the motherland back out. Can you hear me just fine? Okay, could you hear me the whole time? Or because it kicked me out of the party... Uh, did it stop during the game? Like, I hate when it does that, because then I start talking. Like, I might be talking about something, and the people that are in the game, like, I don't like them hearing while I'm talking to the chat, because I'm pretty sure it's annoying. I don't really talk all that much to, uh, to my teammates in this game. Too often. Just because... Like I said, this game's kind of toxic. You meet all types of fucking terrible people. Been coming through the whole time on Twitch. Okay. Thank you. Now I know that it does that. I, there was a, a point at, uh, in some game, I can't remember what I was playing, where it kicked me out of the party, and then it didn't, like, I, it wasn't transferring what I was saying, so it, like, muted it the entire time while I was talking. I think that was during, uh... Whenever I was playing Battlefield 1, it did that. I was like, motherfucker. 
So like there's just probably like an hour's worth. I don't know if it was that long, but just a fucking huge chunk of me talking and explaining why I was doing stupid shit and no one heard it. So it probably just oh, I feel bad for anyone who watched it. I didn't end up putting that one on YouTube because A, I didn't feel like going through to see where that had happened and B, because I didn't really have the time. I was still in school during that. Which I need to play through uh, the campaign on Battlefield 1. I usually buy first-person shooters for the campaign now because multiplayer Call of Duty ruined fucking uh, FPS multiplayer. <laughs> so, I usually don't play it, but man, the multiplayer in, uh, in Battlefield 1 is fun. To me, it's really enjoyable. So, I, I haven't been able to pull myself away from doing that, so I've pretty much, like, stopped playing the game as much as I can, because otherwise I'm just playing the, the multiplayer, and I need to play the campaign. That's pretty much a shot in the dark. If they're already is looking at me, then it's going to really hurt whenever I get hit. Nope, not the Artie, but something. Top tier. Artie can definitely hit me here. I know they can. Thought I got a shot from over there, too. Maybe not. There's no way he shot me through a mountain. Hopefully there's no way. I wouldn't doubt it with this game. People find them glitches. Oh, I'm just waiting to see the fucking artillery shell come in and hit me in the face. Enemies looking right at us. Well, I don't think I'm going to get any fucking help over here. I think that I think that we're gonna need to pull back out. Holy shit. That was a lucky bounce. We're gonna have to pull the fuck out of here. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Why am I not moving? Oh, this is garbage. Any other time I would have gone up that. What the fuck just happened? Fucking game's breaking on me. Uh, I'm about to get fucked. I'm about to get fucked in the ass. Oh, they didn't even spit on it. Okay, I made it. <sighs> You're weird. <laughs> okay. You do know that I'm in a stream and there's a possibility of them hearing you. <laughs> Wife's talking to me. Now, if I can do this just right... If I can angle just right here... This might... might be worth it. I think I should be good. Kinda. Oh, not really against the KV-4. Yep, nope. I'm about to get fucking destroyed. Oh, and now I got fucking T-34 to deal with, too. What the fuck did I just shoot? What the f- It looked like I just shot into the ground. How the fuck did I do that? I mean, I'm boned. I'm totally fucking boned here. I'm just trying to track so that someone will fucking come help me, but that's not gonna happen. Look at these, look at these morons over here just not fucking doing anything. Did you guys run into anything over here? Anything? Doesn't look like it because, uh, according to this, you got, only the Boilermaker has been getting fucking kills. What the fuck were you morons doing?
sitting over there fucking sucking each other off, probably. <laughs> Frail ship, welcome to the stream. Didn't even spit on it, yeah. Circle him to death. Don't go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. No, see, that's the problem. There was no way that that was going to work out well, because it was me versus fucking, like, what did we see there? Four tanks at one point? Four or five tanks? While my guys are all over here fucking jerking onto the cracker. Be safe, homie. Talking to the wife. I want. I want to see him win. I really think they're going to because my guys aren't going to fucking be able to pull this off. Abyss or fire? Welcome, sir. Staying on the moon makes it more difficult for them to hit. Yeah, but that was it, it was a losing situation anyway. If I would have pulled back any further, I wouldn't have been able to have done what I did do. I, I really believe that. I don't think that I would have been able... I got... I did block a lot. I had a good kind of spot there until they all pulled up through. That's where it got hairy. Well, yeah. Yeah, if I would have kept moving, it might have been a little bit better. But having them in that choke point, having them afraid to come through that choke point for the, the little bit of time there could have got my team a chance to fucking pull over there and help me if they were fucking teammates that could figure out that pulling back and helping me was, you know, uh, advantageous for them as well. We would have gotten more points if they would have fucking pulled back and helped. The, the slower... Like, the Japanese heavies, the OI and the Oni, I understand that it takes them a fucking long time to get back there to help. But, if, ah, it should, they should have been a lot further up there. They should have been, and they weren't. Uh, could have placed the KV-4 between you and the others. Yeah, in hindsight. Hindsight is always twenty twenty. I, but... I thought that clustering them... if Really, if my idea of uh, locking them in there, if I would have stuck with that and uh, had a bigger tank, like an OI or something, I would have no shit blocked that fucking... I would have put my tank in there. I would have wedged it in there Austin fucking power style. And they would have had to go all the way back around or try to communitively push my fucking tank out of the way, my fucking roadblock... Uh, but they would have pretty much come to a standstill there, and that would have been easy pickings for the rest of my team to at least get there, maybe do something, but I, I, I didn't think they were going to do anything anyway. <laughs> easy for me to say, yeah. Uh, fire platoon on stream? Yeah, sure, why not? Let me, uh, let me jump out of here. 